guys, it's Cheyenne. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about what to wear to the airport and on your flight. For those of you who don't know, I've traveled quite a bit. I've gone through Europe, I've gone to Ireland a few times, fly back and forth between Arizona and Texas, and I've gone to California a few times. So I'm a frequent flyer and I kind of know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, tip number one. Wear the bulkiest item of clothing that you have. When you wear your biggest item, it's more for like um, saving space in your carry-on, but that's for another video later. Tip number two. Make sure you layer. I can't even express to you how important it is to actually layer while you're on the plane because plane temperatures fluctuate between freezing cold and can get toasty nice and warm. You have that little, but that's not a whole lot of air to get at. But anyways, during the winter months, um, planes are not very well insulated, especially if you're sitting on the window seat. That's the outside. You're on the inside. It's It can get really cold. And so... The importance of layering is so that whenever you're on the plane and you get cold, you have that sweatshirt to put on so that you're not miserable for the X amount of hours that you're on the plane. Um, also, if you get hot, you can take that off, wrap it up, and use it as a pillow if you want to. But layer, layer, layer. Tip number three, wear comfortable clothes. You're going to be sitting in that plane for however long your flight's going to be, you need to be comfortable. If you're wearing some skinny jeans, not comfy. You are going to get real uncomfortable in your seat really fast. Um, although I have flown in jeans before, they're normally for like a two hour flight or something and they're bigger jeans, they're not my skinny pants. But um, I enjoy flying in leggings, um, something comfortable and then a big sweater over it. And First of all, fashion doesn't matter. Who cares? I'm at the airport to fly, to go do my vacation, to do, do whatever it is. I don't care who I'm there to impress. The only time you should ever try to look at maybe a little bit decent is if your plane has first class options. Because if they see you, see you looking nice, they might say, hey, do you want to go to first class? You're like, ah. yeah. So, but that doesn't happen. I fly Southwest a lot, so I'm comfy. <laughs> Going on the subject of being comfy, is also to wear comfortable socks. As dumb as that may sound, that's more just my personal thing because I know that I get cold and that my feet are gonna get cold. So I've been known to wear fuzzy socks and slides on my plane rides. Travel tip number four, don't wear makeup. Just trust me on this one. I think it's one, a waste of makeup. Like I said before, we're not here to impress anybody. We're here to get into a giant flying metal tube and go to a new place. <laughs> During long flights, if you have a long layover or something like that, it's always good to go refresh yourself in the bathroom or something. So it'd be nice to be able to just get some water on your face and refresh yourself instead of being like, oh, but my foundation looks so good. Who cares? Another reason I don't like to wear makeup is because I also like to wear an eye mask while I'm on a plane trying to sleep. Uh, so eye masks and eye makeup do not mix. You're gonna come out looking like a raccoon. Oh, shit. <laughs> You're gonna come out with raccoon eyes if you try to sleep with an eye mask on the plane with makeup on. Now, the only exception is I bring my makeup in my carry on so that if I am, like with our flight to New York, I didn't follow any of these rules because I had to be to, from the airport to the wedding in half an hour. So I flew on a dress. I flew in some heels and I did my makeup on the plane because you had to do you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> Tip number five: wear contacts. If you are a glasses or contacts wearer like I am, I always wear my contacts because glasses just get in the way. Honestly, if I'm trying to put my sleeping mask on, you have to worry about your glasses and taking them off. Um, I like to wear my contacts most of the time, anyways, for wearing sunglasses or anything really. So. Tip number six, wear your hair in braids or down. So I like to, on long flights, put my hair in French braids because for one, my hair is uh, wild and doesn't like to listen to me a whole lot. And so if it's in braids, I don't have to worry about it getting frizzy or in my way. Plus I have a cute hairstyle for whenever I do take them out. I don't like to wear my hair in a ponytail, even driving in the car because it hits, you know, the back of the, your chair, it like 
rubs on it, and that's just annoying. So imagine if you're trying to sleep with your neck pillow and your buns, eh, eh, you, <laughs> you know, stick it to it. I don't like that. So I wear my hair either down um, or in two French braids so that it's out of my way and controlled. Okay. Tip number seven, fanny packs. I love fanny packs. They are the freaking coolest thing ever. You need anything right there. Because I mean, as a woman, we have fake pockets 77% of the time in our pants. And two, if I'm going to be wearing something, some comfortable legging, I may have just like one side pocket, but that's about it. So I love having a fanny pack because not only is it small and I can put it into my carry-on once I get to the plane, um, it's so handy with shoving my boarding pass right in there, putting my phone in there, and then pulling it out during security whenever I need it again. So I highly recommend getting a fanny pack, plus they're coming back in style. My fanny pack rules. My fanny pack is on. My pants are swagging. Fanny pack. If you take one thing away from this video, fanny pack. <laughs> Um, so the next things aren't really tips, they're just kind of preparation. So at security, um, if you've never flown before, you will have to take off your shoes, your belts, your jackets. Yeah. So that's why having a fanny pack is super helpful because then I can just unclip it and put all of my stuff in there. I love to fly with my moccasins because they keep my feet extra warm and they're comfy and they slip on and off super easy. Um, also, if you're going to be wearing jeans, um, I've done this, my sister just did it last week. If you're going to wear jeans, do not wear blingy booty jeans. They are going to come patch your blingy booty down <laughs> because it, it'll go off in the metal, uh, metal detector. So that's why also it is important to layer because if you can't take off your sweater to put it through the thing, they're going to come around and violate you. With all this being said, Either be prepared or be prepared to be violated once you get there. Well, thank you guys for watching. I hope that this was helpful for somebody going somewhere. So drop a comment. Let me know where you're going to be traveling to using your new what to wear on a plane hacks. So I wanted to take a moment to just say thank you to all my subscribers. You guys are awesome. You guys are helping motivate me to do more videos, to put my time into this because this is something I really want to do. And you guys are making me feel like I can actually take off with this. So thank you, my beauties. Don't forget to like and comment on this video. Tell me what you liked, didn't like, what you're going to be using next for your next trip. Hit the bell so that you're notified for my next video. I'm going to be doing some more about how to pack, what to pack, and a lot of stuff. So give me a thumbs up so other people can find this video too. And don't forget to follow my Instagram. And you guys have a lovely day. I'll see you later. Last but not least, get excited! You